to your touch. Ooh. I feel the rush. Hey. Addicted to your touch. <laughs> again like i think i should call you guys friends i like that it's a lot better to me than hi guys <laughs> but good morning hi friends you're welcome back to another weekly my name is akusia if you haven't seen me before if you're a returning subscriber hey boo hey boo what did you <laughs> it's wednesday we're going to new york again let me do my edges. Everybody's still sleeping, by the way. That's why I'm talking like this. <laughs> I'm gonna pair these two cents. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. I couldn't really talk much in the bathroom because it is 621, okay? And I am about to literally leave for New York. I'm just currently gathering everything, making sure that I have all my documents and everything that I need to go to New York because I'm going to renew my passport. That's why I'm going to New York. I'm not gonna lie. It's so annoying to think about it because I could just mail these items from here, but there's literally nobody to reach out to in the Ghana embassy in New York. So there's nothing I can do. Um, but I'm ready. Today I decided that I wasn't going to do any makeup because there's absolutely no point going to, I mean, doing makeup at this time. It's 6.22. I have to be at the station again. Not the same station. I'm going with a different transport service. Um, this is meant to be like door to door. I'm meant to be door to door, but they don't come to my area. So I still have to meet them at their office. Um, I have to be there at 7.45. So I'll leave home at like 6.45 or 6.50 to give myself like a whole hour or 45 minutes just in case there's traffic. Just in case, okay? I don't want to be late. I have to be there 15 minutes before because the car leaves at 8. So fingers crossed today we're actually able to go and then everything can fall in place. I'm, I'm positive about today, you know. I'm, I feel like I'm making all the right decisions. Um, but again, you guys are welcome to another weekly. I have two packages that I really want to unbox with you guys. But I think I'm going to have to go and come back. I have one from Lancome. And then my TikTok perfume finally came. I'm so excited to show you. Um, but yeah, you guys, I'm just going to chill for a bit. Literally just sit down, relax my mind, okay? You know, just chill for one second and then we can be on the road i will go with an uber so i will you know do the whole nine yards and then when my cab comes i will check in with you guys i don't think i'll go with my camera because my bag is very small but at the time i was gonna go with my camera but this time i'm not even gonna go with my camera i'll just go with my phone um just so we can chill and not like because i don't want to have a lot of things you know and i'm coming back late i'm coming back at like 9 25 p.m and i don't want to be carrying my camera that late because you know you may never know okay <laughs> so yeah that's that's a little morning update we're going to new york you guys are traveling with me so pack your bags and let's go okay uh, but yeah in a little bit i'll show you my outfit of the day and then we can be gone <laughs> okay guys so i'm done this is my outfit for the day My Uber is almost here, literally four minutes away. So the next time you see me, I'll be in my car. Let's go, okay? Ceiling fan blowing cold breeze on your body. I can tell you really what it is, but you got it. Hey guys, I am finally here at the station. I got here right on time. I'm so happy. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I was so scared because there was a little bit of traffic, but it wasn't so bad. Um, but I'm here. I'm actually here before the ride. So I'm just waiting um, for the driver to come and then we'll be on our way. I want to be so bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, everything is going so well. So I know you guys know. You guys are also like feeling the same way. You're like, oh, we can't wait for you to get to New York so that we can finally say she did it. <laughs> you know, yeah. Second time is a champ. So let's go okay make up in the morning. 
morning, you got dresses in your closet. But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest. Guys, so I have finished doing everything that I have to do at the passport office. It was actually very fast. I didn't think that it was gonna go this fast. I'm not gonna lie, I have waited this whole time just to vlog in freaking New York because vlogging in New York is such a nice thing. It's like the ultimate vlogging um, but i'm going to buy something right now come back and then finish up what i have to do and then i'll catch back with you guys okay give me one second i have to buy an envelope and then when i'm done um i will come back here i am done i am pretty much done with everything that i have to do right now i'm just waiting for my friend it's currently like two you know it's like almost two right my friend will be here in like the next 40 to 45 minutes so i'm just gonna wait for him and then when he calls we'll meet up and then i feel like in the meantime i want to go to safara i can see a safara like right ahead of me so i'm probably gonna go there for right now and then see what's up and just like hang out for a little and wait for my friend okay nothing serious but vlogging in new york is so cool ain't nobody care <laughs> nobody cares so i love it i do okay you guys so i'm in sephora oh it's so big in here. <laughs> sephora in new york is so big <laughs> i am here because i wanted to pick up the house last um blush so i'm gonna look out for some to see if i can find it but i'm overwhelmed i'm not even gonna lie you a more body giving sin of fuels i'm just saying i'm a mule but you ain't even flexing and you cool, tat it up, cover up. My favorite foundation of all time, hands down. Oh, different vibe, you know. I'm gonna lie, guys, I don't have much to buy because <laughs> I have a lot of makeup and a lot of skincare. So I'm really, I, I really like, I don't know what I want to buy. I have the House Labs blush, but I'm thinking, what else do I need? What else do I really need? I don't really need anything. I don't want to just spend money because I'm in Sephora. I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to look around to see if I can pick like some face mask and stuff like that. I'm just filing away time to wait for my friend. So I am out here doing city girl stuff. I'm not even going to lie. I am done with Sephora. I'm currently walking down the street to meet my friend at 42nd Street. <laughs> it's so funny to me because back home, I mean Massachusetts is very different from New York. Every place here has like a street name and everybody just knows me. It's like, it's so weird, it's a lot. Uh, but I'm just walking towards the um, 42nd. And then when I meet my friend, I'll check back in with you guys. Cause honestly, I'm low key overwhelmed. Like <laughs> it's a big city and I'm overwhelmed, but yeah. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> we finally made it. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of walking that happens in New York, okay, you guys? And tell me how the people here are not cold. Like, why? Why? Anyway. Not the fucking camera just turning around. Hi, it's me. So we are at this um, afternoon tea spot and yeah, we're about to get some afternoon tea. Exciting stuff. Ooh. We're currently at a tea spot. If you know this man, you know this is a high high fashion man. Oh. Let me, <laughs> let me just say that, okay? He will take you to he likes like fancy stuff. This this is fancy. Jackie, you're talking about fancy? <laughs> this is fancy. <laughs> so we're just at a tea spot. I can't wait to show you guys the whole tea setup and everything. It will look it's so gonna cute. Look beautiful. Oh, it's gonna look so cute. Um, but we're just gonna spend some time. We have a few hours to kill. And then back to Massachusetts I go. It's really cute here. Let me show you. I really don't want to be in people's business. I'm not gonna lie. But let me show you just a quick, 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 quick. Okay.
immaculate like literally so beautiful and i'm so happy to be spending time with my best friend we should do this a lot we should do this we should, more we, we should, should do this some more because like what The background, the service, everything, 10 out of 10. Like 10 across the whole board. What? I am so happy. The tea was so good. Um, I'm so full. Prosecco was so good. Vibes, I'm vibing, okay? It's 5 p.m. <laughs> Can you guys imagine that it's 5 p.m.? Like it's already- Daytime. I know, like it's literally already time for me to- Still daytime. Daytime for you though. But it's time for me to. <laughs> it's time for me to. It's time for me to get going. But it, it's been a good day. It's been a good, productive day, and I'm so happy. Feel your touch. Ooh. I feel the rush. Ooh. Addicted to your touch. <laughs> you guys have no idea how we feel. Like literally, Ooh. no idea how we feel. Yeah. It's a good feeling. It is. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. I am hoping that this lightning is a better option because I don't know what's going on. But I'm back home. <laughs> Yesterday when I got home, it was a little too late. Um, I got home like almost 11 p.m. So I couldn't really, you know, check in with you guys. I was so tired. I had to prep some things for daycare. But yesterday was a good day. Oh my goodness, it was so needed. I had to, you know, the New York was, it was literally very much needed. And so we had a good time. We went to the tea place. You guys saw the whole thing. It was a really good time. It was a real good time. I am home today, okay? But it's not gonna lie, I'm over customer service. Like, I'm over talking to people over the phone. I feel like it's not for me again. Um, so I'm definitely looking into looking into another job basically I'm looking into another job another job that is also still remote that allows me to still work from home and everything um, because I'm over customer service I'm not really the type to talk much <laughs> like I like my peace I like my quiet sometimes you know I am a talker don't get me wrong that's why I vlog obviously <laughs> I definitely do talk but I'm the type that I have, I definitely have more of my calmer days than I have my talking days. I don't really like customer service again. <laughs> like, I love talking to people, I love helping people, but doing it on a daily basis is draining. Like, literally takes so much out of you. So, yeah, that's besides the point. I have a few packages from Amazon and, you know, not even from Amazon. This is PR, let me see. So let me show you. I got some um, dried eucalyptus, 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 <laughs> or whatever. I can't even say the word, um, but it's dried eucalyptus. What? Dry eucalyptus, eucalyptus. Goodness. To put in the bathroom. Oh. oh, the scent is so strong. What? It's fresh, actually. So, this is going to be in the bathroom. And if you don't know what eucalyptus is, it's, um, it's a plant. But it's good for, you know, giving you senses. It does something to your senses. It relaxes your senses. It gives you... When you put it in a bathroom, it's just like a nice way to add on to the whole spa like feeling because it gives you it gives you that nice vibe you know the i don't think i'm explaining it well 
but the plant mixed with water like coming into contact with water it does something to your senses that just like relaxes you it's it's a science thing you know it's not just it's not just a, it's not just a fun thing okay it definitely has a science backing to it so it's a little thread that you can use to tie but it's so strong oh it smells really strong Ugh. Ew. my god <laughs> I think it'll do what it's supposed to do. I'm happy that it actually has a sense because this has been sitting in my kitchen for like a good four days. Like a good week actually. I don't know why I haven't showed you. And then I'm like, you know what, let me just get it out of the way. Let's see what we have from Lancome. Lancome. We love Lancome PR. This is pretty much the second or third PR that I've received from Lancome. Yeah, third. <laughs> okay, it's their new Lapsolu Rouge. Oh, I love Lancome and they're French. <laughs> so it's a soft matte lipstick, eight new shades designed to be universally flattering. Um, so, oh, I love that. I love nude. I pretty much only do <laughs> nude and gloss. Like, I don't do anything else besides that. Oh, they packed me up. What? You guys? They gave me everything. <laughs> it's so cool. So we have some lipsticks. We have eight different shades. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> it's absolutely perfect. And the thing is actually called Lapsolu. So that's kind of like absolute in French. I do have a French person here. Um, BB chain if you can comment and let me know is Lapsolu is it absolute because I think so um, but they have they sent me all the eight shades so I'm gonna definitely do a video for them and then they sent me some mascaras oh, oh, I'm gonna cry when I tell you guys give me one second give me one second oh no way Lanco I love you guys. So they sent me some mascara here. I have this mascara right here. I love that. My lighting in the living room honestly doesn't do justice. I cannot wait to like maybe change it or move because I need to give you guys that quality. Okay, like I'm, I'm sick. I'm sick when it comes to this light. It makes me sick. And then they gave me, I think I have one of these things. Um, this is their Lash Booster. I think I definitely have one. It's, yeah, you use it before you use your mascara. So it gives you, so if you're the type of person that doesn't like to put on um, lashes, uh, which is like full, full lashes, then you would like this because this is like a base for your mascara and then you top it up with your actual mascara so it gives you volume it gives you lift it gives you everything that i'm looking for and i like this because i if you've i don't know if you've noticed but on my instagram i usually don't like the lash look it's not like i don't like it i like lashes let me take that back i love lashes but i feel like because i wear glasses and everything sometimes it's just i'm like Ugh, you know Sometimes I just don't care for it. I think that's the right word to use. I don't really care for it as much. But also sometimes I know very well that with a certain look, it will go so well. So I have a love and hate relationship with lashes, really. I don't really like hate them and I don't really like them, you know. I'm in between when it comes to lashes. And I can definitely do without them. That's what I want to say. I can definitely do without them, so... If you don't really like lashes, look into the um, Lancome Lash Booster. It's really good. And then they sent me the Tien E Doll Liner. Love. This is in the brown. I think I have. I also have one of these brown shades. Yep. Really, really beautiful. I'm not going to take it out of the packet because, again, I already have one. So I might add this to the giveaway. I just want to say that I had decided that at the end of every year, I think I said that last year, at the end of every year I'm doing a giveaway. I am so mad at myself again. I still have last year's giveaway sitting in my house, like literally, and I haven't sent them out. So right here, let me just say that I'm going to contact the people. I have two people, Akosye Cha and then um, Bibiche Lifestyle and Akosye Cha. I'm going to reach out to you guys. So that you send me your addresses and everything. It has to be US based address. 
um, because for right now I'm not able to do international I can't send anything international I'm not gonna lie it's definitely gonna be expensive so I have to look more into that but I know that I can send out to US and Canada so if you have a US based address please definitely reach out um, I don't want you leaving your address in the comments and Bibiche follows me on Instagram so I think I can reach out to her on Instagram but I could see a chat. I'm not so sure. So if you're watching this, my love, please send me a DM on Instagram. I could have a hine with your address and your information so I can send out the package to you because it's literally still sitting here and I need to send it out, okay? <laughs> and this is the thing that I'm excited about. <laughs> they gave me the Lancome Genifique. Okay, that's how you say Genifique. Genifique. <laughs> I like it so much. See, Lancome is has always been a luxury brand for me. I'm not gonna lie. No matter what, like I will always Lancome for me will always be up there. They've always like held their brand in high esteem. They've always been that girl when it comes to like makeup and skincare products. And they have never the brand has never wavered. It's always there. I respect a brand like that okay so I'm always gonna talk about them I'm always gonna <laughs> they, they, they did that okay they did that they gave me this this is their youth activating concentrate so this is a serum I'm really excited because I'm gonna be using this a lot okay <laughs> like I do need me something hydrating right now so because right now I don't really do much besides my dermatica and my skin is doing amazing I'd have like definitely have a few breakouts here and there because it's that PMS time of the month, but yeah. So, also we have here, I think this is their eye makeup remover. I forget, because I see the mixture of oil in there and I'm like, this has to do with eyes. But this is their eye makeup remover. Love that. I have, the current one that I have is from Kiss. Very effective, very good. Um, but we love this too. And then they put a little goodies on the side okay they put some sunscreen we have some little sunscreens <laughs> tiny i love that yesterday i actually picked up some sunscreen i'll show you guys in a second i picked up some super goo sunscreen from sephora i will show you but now on to my tiktok perfume that's what i call her she's my tiktok perfume i have been so excited for this perfume and i think i'm also going to do a full-on reaction on tiktok so over here, I'm just going to show you, honestly. <laughs> Talking about TikTok, you guys. I'm just watching the news. It's on CBS News right now. And they're literally going on and on about how, um, you know, there's a bill for TikTok to be banned. What do you guys think about that? I feel so bad. I, You know, like, I feel so bad because, like, why? I don't know. Like, I have to definitely do more research because, like, I don't know why they want to ban it. So that's why I don't want to talk too much about it. But then again, I feel so bad because it's a social media platform like every other one. Like social, like Instagram. Like, you know, it's like every other one. And it's actually so useful. Like I use it right now for everything. Like if I want a quick recipe, I'm not about to go to YouTube. I go on TikTok. So it's like, it's very helpful. So why are you taking it out of the equation? I really don't know. There's a big disconnect for me. But then again, I have to look into it because I don't know why they're actually banning it. But it's all over the news. It's literally all over the news. You guys comment below. What do you think? Let's have a little conversation. What do we think about this TikTok ban? <laughs> look at him. Oh my God. This is her. This is the box. This is what she looks like. You know what? I honestly would love to have my first reaction on here but i'm not gonna lie this is a tiktok perfume so she needs to be on that app so i'm gonna have to do a video and come I, i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry you guys i want to react to it here but i also want to do it on my tiktok so that's why you have to go and follow me on tiktok before they ban me <laughs> before they ban the app go and follow me and check it out because i'm going to do a full-on review on TikTok and then later because I'm gonna use this today so later today I will tell you how I feel but <laughs> it 
ASMR. I love it. It's the Yara perfume. It's called La Tafa. I kept saying La Fafa, but it's called La Tafa. That's the name of the perfume. It is very popular if you're on TikTok. If you are on TikTok and you're on the side of TikTok that allows you to see perfume reviews, this stuff everywhere, okay? You see it everywhere. So, and then apparently this is how you know it's legit. It needs to come with a little something, something from the Latafa um, Latafa people to make it show this is legit so I cannot wait to smell this I really cannot wait to tell you guys my reaction um, but it's gonna be on TikTok so same name Akosia Benhene follow me on TikTok okay You guys, I just finished taking my bath. Let me just tell you that this Yidi bralette is so comfortable, okay? The bralette that I showed you in last week's vlog, I've literally been living in it. Like, I just wear this, put on some big pants, and that's it. Sometimes I put on a jacket when I'm cold, but this is literally my uniform. Like, I've been living in these two. Um, but this stuff is really comfortable, I'm not gonna lie. But I also just wanted to show you the sunscreen that I picked up yesterday from Sephora. I picked up the Super Goop Unseen sunscreen. I have heard a lot about this, but I'm hoping that I picked up the right one because it definitely comes in like different types. So I just wanted to try it out with you guys, just in case. Oh, I'm sure this is the one because this is how it comes out. It's literally clear. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is nice. Uh, oh, it's like the black girl sunscreen. Literally. It is literally like the black girl sunscreen. Like you don't see nothing. It's exactly what I wanted to buy. I'm so happy that I got it in the small size because now I know exactly what I'm going to buy. Because when I go on the website, I'm going to just pick this one. <laughs> this is literally what I was looking for. I was looking, I, I used to have one from shiseido which was really good i loved that one so i went back looking for it but they also have like three different types and if you're not careful with the name you just might end up picking the one that's not for the black people so i picked up this one because i'm like oh i don't want to waste my money if it's the wrong one but it's the right one so i'm happy that i picked it up i love it like you literally don't see anything like it's so cool love that now time for my reaction we have the perfume I took it out of the box. This is what the perfume looks like. Oh, let me just tell you guys that this stuff smells so good. Uh, like, my entire self right now smells like this. Like, I already put on my YSL, but I topped it up with this, and this has literally enveloped me. Like, it has covered everything. I don't smell the YSL. I mean, I think it's still there in the background, but it's so good. Like my first reaction is definitely on TikTok, you guys. But this stuff smells so good. And it's so big. Let me just say that. The bottle itself is so freaking big. Look at that. This is really good. I will leave a link for you guys. I will leave a link in the description box. I will find a link because let me tell you, this stuff is affordable. Like look at the bottle. Look at how big this is, literally. Look at how big that is. You know how much I got this for? The actual price is around $45, $46. But then I got it on discount. Um, I got it with, I mean, for... <laughs> I got it at a discounted price on TikTok at 20 like $23 or $22. And that was such a good steal because that was almost like $20 off. Crazy. So I picked it up. For a second, I'm like, ugh. But then the girl, the link, you know, TikTok right now, the TikTok shop, it's like really verified and everything. And I showed you guys the little Mac that shows you that it's original. So definitely look out for that. But this stuff is really good and I'm excited because I got it for such an affordable price. As compared to all the perfumes that I have, this stuff is literally a fraction of the price. And it's the same smell, the same feeling. Don't go crazy if you can't afford a big perfume, okay? You can still smell good without doing too much or without killing the bank i always preach that if you don't have the money you can still look good 
but you can you have to find like affordable things that can make you look and feel the same way and i'm the queen of that okay i'm the queen cheapskates like i will find me a good streetswear and still make it look top notch because that's just who i am <laughs> So, um, but yeah, I like this stuff. I will leave a link for the girls if you're interested because this is good. This is definitely worth everything, okay? Worth it. Love it. <laughs> Um, I literally just happy Friday I'm sorry happy Friday how are you doing I just got out of work yeah but happy Friday I hope you guys are doing well yesterday I don't know if I so I think I didn't see you again after like the unboxing and everything but yeah it's Friday so forgive me for that I am trying to do better at the vlogs um, but you know it's 1 p.m i'm gonna be picking up from apart from daycare and you guys will actually come with me today because your girl has been zoom zoom driving a lot i have been driving a lot lately um because i definitely want to be more hands-on i definitely want to get my license by my birthday which is in june so i want to get a lot of things out of the way you know i have a, a few things on my to-do list for the year that i have to check off so that's one of them um, but how are we feeling this pink on pink today I just felt like I'll give some color today you know give the energy give the vibes I really like it um, I do want to go make me something in the kitchen this one of you guys however saw my breakfast that stuff was so good I went to pick up breakfast after daycare drop-off I literally just run down the streets there's this cafe down my streets really really good very natural food like it's so good it's it makes no sense because they make it from their farm i was talking to the lady today and they have an actual farm and everything it's so cool it really is so cool and um, but we we got breakfast from them today and that's what we had and now it's 1 p.m so i'm thinking of making lunch but yeah i just thought i'll check in with you guys it's friday i got out of work i just wanted to say hi okay i have a few things from amazon so we'll get into that we always have something coming from amazon because as long as i work with them it's gonna keep coming and i'm always grateful like i don't take it for granted at all so we'll check out what we have from amazon and then just do the weekend together and call it a call it like a week okay but also real quick i just wanted to ask that um i know the last time when i posted my vlog which was like almost an hour for whatever reason you guys actually liked it was it over an hour a little over an hour you guys actually liked it and i never thought that long vlogs was gonna work but you guys like it so i guess my question is do you prefer the longer vlogs or would you prefer like a good content filled vlog but it's like you know around like 30 to 45 minutes i usually honestly i don't know why i'm even asking because depending on how the week goes sometimes it'll be long sometimes it'll be short so but i just wanted to ask do you guys prefer the longer ones or do you prefer if i do like really short vlogs like 20 30 minutes because i don't mind i really don't mind if i have content yeah we'll do it um but yeah let me go into the kitchen and figure out what i'm gonna go make the matica also sent two new um you know two new skincare products so i'm excited because i am about to scream if you're not using the matica you guys like if you're not using the matica i don't know what you're doing because i have cut out almost everything I have stopped using everything only to use a matica and my skin is flourishing my skin i'm not gonna lie my skin has always been good if i do say so myself i will have a few breakouts here and there every now and then because it's normal but my skin never really like has like acne or anything which i'm always grateful for but with that being said the matica has ingredient that has just been doing the most for my skin and i'm here for it so i won't stop talking about it until one of you says i tried it and i like it i need one of you to actually try it and tell me how it goes okay it's prescribed medical grade skincare prescribed only for you 
love that let's go to the kitchen <laughs> let's go to the kitchen and then um later tonight we'll do some skincare and have a little bit of conversation because i do wanna i feel like when i went to new york i didn't really tell you guys how new york went as compared to the last time i really do want to talk about that because i've had time to like think of what happened the last time that i was going to new york and this time when i went and just how smooth this travel was like it just makes no sense how i went through the most with that one and how this one was so smooth so we'll get into that but let's go and try to make something because i'm happy and i'm hungry i'm happy and hungry can you imagine <laughs> you guys i was gonna go with you but my uh, my my car mount is not working the car mount is not mounting <laughs> it's not like doing the work i don't know why i'm sorry i tried <laughs> i literally tried Good morning. Happy Sunday, you guys. <laughs> my daughter is literally in my hair. Yeah, that's why. Mommy, me, you're divine. I'm like a crazy. Just a teeny weeny bit. Now, maybe. I'm. I mean, small time. I'm. <laughs> She's like, no. She's like, I can't be bothered. Like, leave me alone. Parenting is a lot of freestyling. Yeah. There's a lot of freestyling that goes on here with parenting, but good morning, happy Sunday. I just got back home from grocery shopping and I just want to apologize that yesterday you guys didn't see me. You only saw me do cleaning. That was literally my mood yesterday. My mood was... I just wasn't feeling the day. I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to clean out my house. And I put my hat into it. My whole apartment is clean. Like... I love that so much and my husband also cleaned upstairs so it's like I finished here before I could say Jack upstairs was clean and that's literally brought my hat down it made me like so calm um, but yesterday was it was a slow day it was um, but today we're on the app okay um, I woke up this morning and actually started creating content I am like halfway through that even though I don't have makeup on it doesn't make sense because it's makeup transition so I've already done the first part. I'm going to do the second part. I had to quickly rush out to buy stuff. Honestly, what I said to myself is I want to do everything that I have to do outside so that when I come back home, I'm not going out again because I really sometimes don't want to go out. Like, I don't want to have any business outside and I'm sure I'm not the only one, but let's do a quick grocery haul. Let's see what we have. Nothing crazy, honestly. I just had to re-up on a few things, so let's go, okay? So I have some baby snacks. I always get these. Um, we love this for daycare. It's good to like, you know, just pop it in a bag for a quick snack. But we actually have, you know, I pair this with like good food. So I make it like a good bowl of jollof rice and then I'll put two of this on the side. And then this is the biscuits that we always go with. They're just some baby biscuits. And then I picked up some pasta. I usually like this fettuccine type. I feel like it's it's definitely my vibe <laughs> like it's when you cook it it's not soft it doesn't get all the way soft it gives you like this chewy italian pasta vibe really like that and then i managed to pick up buttermilk i actually got buttermilk so um i do have some buttermilk i will use that uh to i'll show you guys in a second but i will use that 
I also have some veggies, some canned tomatoes. I have some spring mix because I want to get back into eating salads, so I'm going to do that. I also got some sliced apples. I feel like I like this because it's much easier to just like open and start eating and I don't have to like chop anything up. I love that. And look what we have here. I managed to get some squid tails. This is not even just squid tails. This is actual squid. So this is full on squid. Um, tubes, tentacles, the whole nine yards. Yeah. I have some scallops. I love scallops. They're so easy to eat. So easy to make. So flavorful when you like season them well. This is so good. This stuff is so good. Like if you if you don't really like seafood, you probably will like this because it's literally nothing. It's like soft fish, but it also doesn't feel like fish. It feels a little like shrimp. It's it's really nice. I like it. And then I have my shrimp. Always, always. There's never not never not shrimp i don't know but there's always shrimp in this household that's all i'm trying to see like i always have shrimp in my fridge because i'm addicted to this stuff okay shrimp and me twins <laughs> and then i also got some um calamari, calamari rings i love seafood if you haven't already noticed i'm literally the queen the queen of seafood <laughs> like i love seafood i can eat only seafood and stop eating every other thing i really don't care honestly I have some lobster <laughs> so it's just a bunch of seafood okay and then honestly i have some goat's meat to balance this out i have some avocado i have some pepper i have some onions some tomatoes i have some beans i have almond milk for my protein shake and that's pretty much everything <laughs> that's literally everything that i have from grocery oh i just want to say i think i might have left my plantain i bought plantain um and it's not here so i may have left it at the shop so i have to run back out to, to grab this it's so annoying <laughs> but it's midday i'm about to figure out what to make for the whole pack which is the whole family <laughs> um and then you know i'm gonna get back into creating content and just call it a day you know i don't want to do too much today plus the home is clean so i like the vibes okay but i'm gonna get into cooking maybe later the clause is maybe okay because i'm saying that because i know that majority of the times i would say that we'll cook something or we'll make something or we'll do something and we never do it i realized that <laughs> I've realized that about myself and about my vlogs, okay? So I'm trying to do better. Um, so the classes may be, may be, if I finish everything on time, we'll make some seafood, you know, just some nice seafood boil because I'm excited. I love seafood. And I feel like at this point, every Sunday evening, I'll put it in there somewhere. But I'm also going to do for food today. So yeah, I'm just going to get into cooking. And I will check back in with you guys when I have to, okay? Oh my goodness. Hi guys. I have just finished filming. I am so tired. My back is literally on fire. I think the chair that I film with is not good. <laughs> it's not good for my back. But I just wanted to show you guys my earrings because look at this. It's so extra. It's so me. But it's also so beautiful. If you're looking for you know that statement type of earrings i feel like you guys are gonna like this i will leave a link for you it's on amazon it's uh, definitely going to be on my storefront but yeah it comes in a set of like other earrings so this is not the only one that you get but anyway this is the look that i just created you see it on my instagram as per usual i'm about to make my seafood and just basically make dinner we honestly have fufu so i'm not hungry i'm not gonna lie but the seafood is already here so i will prep that and maybe just put it down and but it's 6 p.m so the day is basically ending um just gonna you know do the night time night shift as i call it and then call it a day ouch <laughs>
When they say she get it from her mama Mama say you fuck her right Your body booty is pumping like Come be in the home But come tell me is you down Cause I'm trying to go good tonight I'm Holding hope she slept her right I just wanna live in a fantasy And think we deserve it right Pop all the memories I've ever made in my life I'm in an ecstasy The ladies are spent tonight Living inside the dream I say where the love is like I put that on my own mama On my hood I don't fly, I don't good You can't touch my back, but you could I don't Some of my food, ma. This is what I have. Everything here is so good, okay? I'm happy with how I put the Maggi Cube in because let me tell you guys one thing about seafood it holds on to seasoning, like, it would literally take up all the seasoning very fast. I don't know if I'm saying it well, but if you use too much seasoning, you won't like it because it will be too salty. So, I'm happy that I like you know kept going in with the maggie because it was perfect like this is perfect <laughs> oh god <laughs> coffee is on the phone by the way guys okay? maggie i don't know god <laughs> but it's perfect this combination is really good but you guys i paired it with a side of yam i have some fried yams i have some chipotle sauce from like five days ago let me look for it mommy how about it why are you crying Perhaps guys i don't think that this is good <laughs> chick-fil-a it's a chick-fil-a i but i don't think that this is still good because this has been in my fridge for a minute oh i'm scared now <laughs> um but you guys this is dinner i'm just gonna go sit down chill enjoy my food <laughs> it's 8 30 it's perfect because <clears throat> it's perfect because i'm actually fasting tomorrow i'm starting my intermittent fasting again a girl has gained weight so i'm not even gonna lie like i've gained just a little bit of weight so she needs to go <laughs> she needs to be gone um but tomorrow i'm back on my journey and yeah so let me just go and eat i'll see you guys so that we can do some skincare okay Hey guys, I am so exhausted, but that shower was so good for me. I literally dozed off while sitting in the couch because I don't know what it is, but the girl is tired, okay? <laughs> I am ready to end my day. You guys, I feel like nighttime baths, like having a shower at night before you go to bed, or maybe I'm just growing. <laughs> really, maybe I'm just growing because. Right now, having a nighttime shower for me is a must. Like, I feel like I cannot sleep without showering at night. And let's be honest, we've all done that before. You know, we have days where we're like, you know what? No, I'm just gonna bounce. <laughs> let's just be honest. Um, but right now, I just cannot do it. <laughs> like, I just can't. I have to shower. But anyway, that show was good. I just wanted to say that when I went to New York, right, I told you guys that I wanted to catch you guys up on what had happened when I went to New York. So 
when I was going to New York, right, I booked my transportation. Um, this time around, I went with door-to-door -door bus services, if you're familiar with what that is, but it's a type of, like, a transport service that um, basically does door-to-door -door services. They can drop you off exactly at the location that you're going to and pick you up from your home if you wanted them to do that. Except that in Massachusetts, the, the only pickup spots that they have is Worcester. So um, I had to go to Worcester to get picked up. Um, but generally, that transportation service wasn't bad. What I wanted to say was when I sat in the car or when I like got on the bus, right? There was this... So the entire bus was filled with like <laughs> Spanish people. Again, people who I didn't understand what they were saying and they didn't understand what I was saying. And, you know, I could use Google Translator, but in my mind, I'm like, oh, not again. I want to be able to communicate with people. And then, lo and behold, <laughs> lo and behold, I'm going to use my Dematica cheese one because that's all I use right now. I don't need to tell you, okay? I, that's all I use, okay? <laughs> um, but, lo and behold, I was right there sitting in the car, praying on my prayers, hoping to have a good trip. And then two women come onto the vehicle, literally, the last two people to get onto the vehicle were two Ghanaian women. What? That excited me so much. There were two Ghanaian women. For whatever reason, I feel like my face is burning. Oh, and from Papa, when I was changing my baby, she mistakenly scratched my hair. And I think I might have gotten a bruise because I put the moisturizer and it was burning my face. I'm like, why? <laughs> it makes sense. Okay, so the two last women that got on that vehicle, they were um, Ghanaian women. They were speaking Cree. <laughs> and what they were saying, I could understand and it was also funny. But in my mind, I'm like, oh yeah, if these people are going to New York, I can definitely talk to them because they're Ghanaian. So girl they would definitely help me i know there's no two ways about that so immediately i'm like hi ma pacho you know me there <laughs> i have my three voice i'm like ma pacho me call new york i'm going to new york and i don't really know the place um so i would like your help so that when i get down i can go straight to you know the place that i'm going to if you help me and they're like oh yeah 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 you know yeah you do i will you know when we get there we'll show you what to do blah 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 beautiful fast forward the second the lady you know one of the Ghanaian ladies she turns back and then she's like you do have i mean like when we get there my dad he works in the area so i'll tell him to pick you up and drop you off at the location i honestly thought oh you know Maybe it's just a favor. <laughs> I mean, like, or maybe, I don't know. I didn't know what to expect. So she took my phone, and then she called her dad's phone number. So her dad could get my phone number. And then when I was, when we, when we got to New York, she got down um, in Bronx, and I was going to Manhattan. So I had to... Like she she got down before me so I was gonna be in the car so she was telling me that she's getting down and that when I get to Manhattan my head dad was gonna meet me over in Manhattan and then help me you know find my way around in the city and then I'm like oh I mean I'm happy with that but then I like I wish she was in the car because I, I was hoping that she was going to the same location that I was going to I didn't really think too much into it right so almost upon getting to the bus station her dad starts to call me and this one calls me and he's like literally waiting for me to arrive at the station and he's like oh where are you guys and then you know he'll call me like 20 minutes he's like, oh where are you blah 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 okay i'm waiting for you and then the next 10 minutes he'll call me again oh where are you okay i see another bus coming i forget it was your bus so i'll just call and check on you like this man was literally there the whole time waiting for me calling and checking on me he waited for me to get to the bus stop the bus station right literally was packed in front of the office while i was getting down picked me up from there he like literally 
cabbed me around the whole of New York, not the entire New York City, obviously, but from where the station was to where I was going to was a 45 minute drive. I checked, I specifically decided that, let me check my Uber to see what's up, because that was my plan. I was gonna pick an Uber from where I drop off to my next location, because I'm like, there's no way I'm dealing with New York buses or New York, New York subway, because I really don't know anything about it. I don't know nothing about the trains. Like, I do not know nothing. And my friend was going to meet me after my appointment. So I had to figure out everything by myself before my appointment. This man, literally made my entire life in new york so easy he waited for me picked me up took me 45 minutes drive maneuvered the traffic everything made sure that i got to my appointment on time didn't charge me the amount of money that uber was going to be charging me mind you like i can't even get over this experience and he wanted to even pick me up when I was done to drop me off at the station to come back home. And I told him I was going to hang out with my friend for a little. So I might be in town for a bit and then I'll leave in like, you know, in the evening, like 6 p.m. ish. And he was like, okay, that's fine. I should still call him. And then if he can, he'll come around to pick me up. And then if he's not, you know, then we'll just move on from them. He was an angel. And not just him, his daughter that got on the vehicle gave me his dad, her dad's number the whole process i was in disbelief because i was saying to myself look at me going to new york for the first time missing my buses twice in a row the bus driver literally looking at my face and driving off disrespectfully <laughs> and me about to cry coming back home to realize that my daughter was sick with the flu and i got sick with the flu my entire family was sick with the flu for the entire week that whole week was literally a blip okay and then the next time i try to go to new york the uber driver that picks me up from home and drops me off at the station is the same uber driver that when i come back to home he like the, the same uber driver that brings me back home because when i request it's the same person that shows up when i get to new york there's these Ghanaian people making my trip entirely easy i guess the passport office it takes me literally like five minutes to finish everything everything was such a breeze i have conversations with my friend like it was such a good day as compared to what i was going to before and i kept thinking to myself if you know, sometimes it's crazy. God or the universe, however you want to put it, really puts things in place for us sometimes. And sometimes we just don't see it. Sometimes we just want to go with our own mind and, you know, what we want. Trust me, the day that I was going to New York, that first time, I really wanted to go to New York. Like, I was prepped in my mind, my heart, my soul. Everything was so ready to go to New York. And it didn't happen. And I was so mad. But the second time it happened, that I actually did go, it made sense why I didn't go the first time. Because it just made sense. Everything just made sense. How everything was such a breeze with my second travel. It was just so beautiful. And it just made sense. And I just want to say that sometimes if things doesn't happen for you in the first like time or in the first attempt, it doesn't always mean that it won't happen. And it might not be like the best situation to use for this example, but that's literally what my mind told me. My mind was like, you had no business in New York on that day. This is the day that you're supposed to go to New York. And on this day, see how easy it was for you? I came back home feeling so refreshed, feeling so good. It was insane. And I called the girl back the next day just to say thank you. I literally said thank you like a good 10 minutes. And she was like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Because in my mind, I'm like, you have no idea how much you helped me and it's just i'm just so grateful i just want to say that yeah if something hasn't happened for you or if something doesn't happen for you in the first attempt it doesn't mean that it will it will definitely happen so just give it time okay my space or my memory card is about to run out so on that note i have to end the vlog i'm gonna put some um hair topicals in my hair call it a night go to bed 
really and truly i am done for the day and for the week i look a little scruffy here <laughs> but you guys already know the deal i hope that you guys enjoyed this week thank you so much for watching again i hope to see you in next week's vlog i do have a few uploads um you know before this vlog so be sure to check it out there it has a new episode um so check that out follow me on instagram like the video subscribe to the channel if you have no idea than that we're really trying to grow this year community views everything you guys know okay we put in the work so we deserve that <laughs> so please give it a huge thumbs up comment do all the beautiful things that you can and i will see you guys in next week's vlog okay bye <laughs> when they say she get it from her mama mama say you fuck her right your body will just bump her like a dummy in the hall but come tell me is you now cause i'm trying to go good tonight all the hope she slept her right i just wanna put in a fantasy